Like every other state across the country, the pandemic introduced the dire need for rapid, accurate, and widely available testing. An infrastructure the Department of Public Health literally created from scratch. But we persevered through significant supply chain challenges. We brought in the Georgia National Guard and contracted with Augusta University to boost testing, set up mega sites, and drive through testing operations, and engaged hard to reach communities to help identify cases and slow the spread of the virus. As of today, there has been a staggering 5.7 million tests administered in the state of Georgia. And we all know COVID-19 has hit our most vulnerable Georgians the hardest, especially those residing and working in nursing homes. From the start of the pandemic, Dr. Toomey and our team recognized that nursing homes and their residents and staff would be among the toughest challenges that we faced. The state sprang into action and was first in the nation to utilize National Guard infection control strike teams to conduct missions in facilities in nearly every community. All told, the Guard's 65 infection control teams conducted missions in more than 2,400 facilities. Speaking of the National Guard, I'd like to pause here for a moment and recognize their truly remarkable efforts throughout this pandemic. In addition to spearheading our early testing and infection control efforts, our very own men and women in uniform also helped Atlanta area schools deliver 948,000 meals to children who were out of the classroom through the spring and summer. Guard members assisted overwhelmed food banks from Savannah to Atlanta and answered the call to help keep our community safe. At this time, I'd like to thank General Tom Carden and every Georgian serving in the National Guard for their tireless work on behalf of our state and our nation. We are grateful. The state prioritized the fight against COVID-19 in two other specific areas, PPE procurement and additional healthcare personnel staffing. Activating the Georgia Emergency Management and Homeland Security Agency statewide network, the state secured entire warehouses of PPE from hundreds of vendors, which was immediately sent to hospitals, nursing homes, doctor's offices, and other health care providers on the front lines. Because of their around-the-clock efforts, under the leadership of former Director Homer Bryson and Director Chris Stallings, the state now has at least an 80-day supply of all critical PPE categories. As our hospitals and nursing homes confront the fiercest part of the pandemic, the frontline healthcare workers in these facilities have literally faced hell on earth. They've worked under brutal conditions for multiple shifts over months now. There's no doubt that Georgia's healthcare heroes have done their job with a grit and determination that has inspired 11 million Georgians. <laughs> Never has it been clear how important your job is and how vital all of you are to keeping our state healthy and prosperous. I wanna thank you for sacrificing your time with loved ones, for going above and beyond the duty each and every day. God bless you all.